Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Dragon Dogma 2 video. Just only don't do it. Another one. That's right, we're back at it again and today I'm gonna show you how you can unlock the Warfarer class in Dragon Dogma 2. Let go! Once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Now to keep it all simple, we need to get this dude Laman drunk by giving him some new liquor. Why am I telling you this? Because you need to get new liquor, three of them, and you're gonna need this Beastern Mask before you can do all of this. Now, if you wanna get the Beastern Mask, you're gonna have to head back over to Rest Town and head over to that shop and pick it up. I think it costs between 7,500 and 10G, something like that. Anyway, after that, you need to head over to Higgs, Tagrin, and Bethal. And this is why you need the mask, because in order to get there, you're gonna have to kinda befriend uh, the beastly friends. In order to do that, right over here by the shop, you need to pick up one of these stacks of material and just set it down in this little area right here. And it's gonna get the attention of an NPC, and he is gonna actually send us up to the shop. So this is how you initially can get into the shop to buy the new liquor, because, you know, they don't really mess with humans. So after that, you will spawn in Higgs Tavern Stand, and that's why you need the mask, right? So now that you are here, you can buy the new liquor. You need three of them in order to get that dude drunk that's gonna give us the warfare vocation. And he's gonna give us a nice scroll for the ultimate as well. So buy it, these do cost 5,000 each, so it's gonna be 15,000 that we're gonna need. And then from there, from Bethal, we're gonna make it through the grotto, and then we're gonna make it all the way to Volcanic Island Camp. Now, over here, you're gonna pick up a quest called the Slotted Sage. It's gonna be a dude just hanging out right by the springs. It's the same place where we ended our quest when we unlocked the Magic Archer vocation. Check out that video right there. If you haven't unlocked that, that is how you're gonna unlock it. Now, from there, we wanna head up these two little ladders. If this is your very first time, this is how you are going to get to the springs where this guy is hanging out in front of. Like I said, if you unlock the magic archer vocation, you already know where it's at, but I decided to include this in the video just in case it is your very first time. From here, we're gonna speak with Lamon, and that's why we got the new looker first, so it could save you some time so you can just gather everything, come over here and unlock the vocation instead of coming over here, starting the quest line, and then going to get the new liquor, and then coming all the way back, you know? So we're gonna be saving ourselves some time doing like this. First off, you need to give him the new liquor when you speak with him. The first time you can only give him one. And then the second time that you speak with him, you can give him two of the new liquor. And he's gonna like this a lot. Like I said, you're gonna get the quest called the Slotted Sage. And guess what? This dude is absolutely an arisen, just like you, which is pretty cool. Now, after you finish giving him the two different bottles of new liquor, well then things are gonna change up a little bit. And after that, he will not only give you the amazing vocation that we are here for, the warfare vocation, but he also is going to give us the ultimate scroll as well. So, not only do we get to unlock the vocation, but we also get the ultimate as well, which is pretty cool, and it's called the Grand Master's Path. So let's do this. We need to change our vocation, so head over to any of the guilds and switch over to Warfare. Just like that, we have unlocked the Warfare class. Now, about that ultimate ability, he does give us a scroll and it's gonna unlock Rearmament, which is pretty cool because this is going to give us the ability to switch between different weapons, which is pretty awesome. So boom, there you have it, my dude. That is how you're gonna unlock this class. But for right now, that's pretty much going to be the video. Hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you're new to the channel, how you doing and welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.